Okay, when you first pull up, of course, the lift the tent up. Best thing to set up camp is to organise yourself at the start to make sure you get everything where you want it to be. Makes the whole setup of the tent go a lot smoother. Michael's uh, removing the goods from the tent while Keith winds down the stabiliser leg. Best idea when you open up the tent is to keep the tailgate shut. Let's things to move around yourself. When lowering the uh, top on the trailer, do not let it drop, let it lower down. And make sure the latches are done up. When you do the latches up, make sure they're firm but not over tight. They're not meant to be over tight to pull down for a seal. Go around and do the um, corner cover. All this can be done with one person. Okay, no four tent, the boys fold the floor down off first. And what they're going to do now, they're finding the two bows of the 04 tent in there. Pick both sides up and walk it out. Now it's the same same situation of all tents. The floor is the first thing you make sure that you um, get pegged out. It's got to be square. Michael's just putting the outside peg down. Having two people to set this up is a bit of a handy thing just to hold it in place. Always ensure that the floor is square, it'll help the whole tent going up. Michael will just uh, tension up the main tent, main tent bow. Now we get Keith doing the same on this side. As you can see the tent's still sitting down on the bows. You've got two, one on each side as we have now, I just tension the bows up, don't do them over tight. As you can see Michael over here. Ensure that the bows stay within the poles and don't come out and skid across the floor. You should have to have a bit of tension. Basically, that is the setup of the main tent area. Uh, what Michael's done here, he's sorted out the poles to the positions they've got to go into the tents. Always a good idea to try and be a bit organised, makes the whole system flow a lot easier. Basically, you put each pole into position where it's going to be in the uh, setup annex area. We have four spreader bars with the number one. number one on them. One for each end, two for the middle, up in the ridge bar area. What I'm going to get Michael to show us now is where that hook into the, this is the best one Michael, or that one there or there. You can see the hole in the frame here, yes. Now that hook in the end of the spreader bar goes into that. The canvas just sits over. At that point there if you extend the spreader bar it'll sit on the ground and sit in position for you. Make life a lot easier. And again he does it to the outside one. Now we're laying on the ground the individual upright poles, of which we have number twos on the outside. No, this is number six in the middle, the highest one, and the other three at the front are number seven. We have a number six as the highest pole, and the other three poles in this unit are number sevens. If you start with the centre bow, it will hold all the others upright. When the annex is pulled over onto this, it will basically freestand by itself while you adjust the corners out. Pull the canvas over, hook that pole into the awning, and Michael's underneath now extending the spreader bar out. Now when it pushes up, as you can see, pull the hook in. 
it'll sit there by itself. Then out to the corners. Always an ender in the rear spreader bar corner. Pull the eyelet over, clip the elastic in place, extend the spreader bar out from the main unit. Putting the centre spreader bar up. One point here to remember is that the spreader bar goes under the external spreader bar to give it support. As you can see, the elastic goes down to fit it. If you're fitting no more walls at this stage, you put a rope on each corner. But as we're putting ropes, uh, walls and floor onto this, we'll extend it further. These are number two. Uh, we'll put a number two in at each end. Pull the elastic down. And fit that into the hole. And just to get you a close up of how that works, you can see the elastics fitted into the hole here. Back to the main unit. Okay, Michael's fitting the number five spreader bars into the corner. Just to stand the corner up and give the whole thing a bit more rigidity. One each side. Looks yeah, it looks good. Now the privacy the privacy screen is just a matter of lifting up, zipping up from the bottom, Velcro loops over the top of the bars. Same on the other side. And then we just open the window up and wind that up and we have access to the bed. That is sitting on the floor. Old oh, unit looking like it's sitting quite well. Once again, never over tension the um, bows, you'll just stretch the stitching, maybe implicitly. Alright boys are just sorting the walls out here for the rear any. Last part of setting up this trailer. Again always essential to start at one corner, basically lay the unit out on the ground. The application of the Velcro is usually one on the inside, one on the outside. Try not to um, try to keep all the, the Velcro at an even distance as you're going around. Boys have got the Velcro fitted all the way down the side there. When you get to the corner, the boys just push the pole in. It allows the wall to go around the corner. Uh, the, the walls are now being Velcroed all the way around the um, top as you can see the wind at the moment is blowing it out and our next part of this job will be to go around and kick the floor in. Alright Michael's just made an entrance to the tent and um, just had to go around to velcro the floor up there. A bit of attention paid to velcro on the floor in properly will ensure that you get no critters coming in. Doesn't take all that long to do the job properly. Two or three minutes to put the walls on, a couple of minutes to put the floor in. And continue all the way around to the other end. And you have the annex sealed up. Ah, uh, boys just going around the outside now to make sure the um, floor is sitting out level. A few pegs around the outside to ensure it doesn't blow away in the wind. So if you're staying for a couple of weeks, a bit of attention to detail here now will save you a lot of work in the long run. We'll get that back wall up now. 
boys are just putting the last part of the back wall up here now apart from rolling out the windows and putting the chairs down they're done rear wind brakes on All that would be required now is the boys to go around and put a few pegs in and the tent's ready to sleep in. Have a good holiday folks. Okay, we're on the fold up process of the O4 tent now. What Michael's going to do is just release the bows, the tension we've got on the canvas will come down. What he does is uh, let them down nearly to the bottom, just lightly nips it again. No need to get too much pressure on them. All we're doing is taking the pressure off the canvas to let it down. Same with this one, just bring it down a tad, lightly nip it back up, place the protective cover back over the unit. This will stop it ripping any holes in the uh, vinyl of the canvas. A little innovation from MDC. Of course, before you fold up, go around and remove all pegs. They will stop it folding up. The boys are now going to go down inside. We're going to release the uh, last two bows down. Take them out of their bows. Now they're finding the two bows, separate bows, pulling them together and lifting the whole thing back up over the top of the trailer. They centre the bows onto the top of the trailer now. Try and pack it up as neatly as possible. It's not essential that it be folded and pleated, as long as it's basically sitting on top. The, the covers are very generous and you can, um, without packing too much canvas around, you can actually get them in quite easily. Last part, the boys will just throw the uh, last part of the floor over. Apart from a quick walk down, walk around now, pull the vinyl cover up from the bottom, a bit of a pack down from the top. It's all over. The boys are now just going to spread the tourney cover back over the top. The only thing you've got to do here is make sure, as the boys are doing now, that the uh, zip slide is at the right end to start. Michael's just engaged in the zip slide here goes around the corners and as you can see it pulls over very easily so it's not overly essential that you pack the tent up super tight or anything in fact they're usually better off being packed up a bit loose that puts less stress on everything the annex roof and uh, walls and windbreak can now be placed on the top of the um, folded up camper and all fit in under the tornado cover no problem at all all your bedding can stay in place pillows as such and any other soft bedding that you have that the children may be sleeping on foam mattresses or the like it's usually a fair bit of room under them they're a very generous cover in place now, the boys are pulling the tourney cover back over. Now the boys will go around and just make sure that the velcro is done up and Michael will do up the straps on this side. Apart from the usual clean up of the campsite, we're just about ready to hook up and go home. Bit of a half slip knot when you uh, tie those up, 
It's always a good idea. Otherwise, they uh, tend to come undone sometimes when travelling. See, Michael just does a half slip knock around there. Now we are ready to hook up and go on the road.